welcome back to another exciting rendition of Captain Kirk Productions. You have myself, Dr. Breva, and as always, the one, the only... Captain Kirk Wu-Tang! And... Here you go, just, just Drake, back at it. Let's do this. Guess who's back? Back again. Drake is back. Tell your friends. We're gonna get a copyright strike. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Edit that out. Uh, I think it was worth it. We get three of them. No big deal. Hey, oh, that's it. Is that no how, big deal. Is Sorry that about it. It's one. It's fine. What do we, we get? Three. Three for strike show. Per episode. Mm, per channel. Oh, at least that means they've done stuff. We've, we've done at least once before. No, they. No, we haven't gotten an official strike. We've got oh. little slaps on the wrist, like watch this video, don't do it again, type of thing. Okay. Oh. You know. This will be our first official slap. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, Kirk, let them know what the viewers are in store for today. Well, guys, here's what you're in store for. As always, I go to my comic shop every like six weeks because they'll email me and be like, hey, come pick up your comics or we're going to cancel your bull list. Oh, bull And I'm like, I thought I was just there, but I wasn't. It's been like six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so then I go in, I go in to get my comics. And I'm like, okay, I'm here. Might as well peruse around. I peruse around, I see stuff I don't need that I won't read that I just want to buy anyway. You buy it. And like, guys, what am I supposed to do? Just look at something I can easily afford and say, nah, like I don't want it. No, of course not. So what do I do? I buy it. So here's just a little local comic haul. You would think with the amount of time you spend in the restroom that you would be reading through these comics like, no problem. I've never been one to read in the restroom. I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty, you know, I don't want to get another strike, but like, I just like to get in and get out. Like, I don't, I don't like to read. <laughs> all three strikes in one episode. You're getting all three strikes. Yeah, one I just that's, don't want to sit there and read for like 10 minutes. Like, I, would, I have other here. stuff I want to do. Okay. Right. But anyway. Moving on. So, in anticipation, anticipation of the new Dwayne Lark Johnson Black Adam movie, right? That's just coming out. It's just coming out. I don't know when this video will be released, but the movie is being released tomorrow right today today it's, it's out it's friday today's oh, friday it's friday it's out and actually yeah. technically you can go see it on thursday but yeah yeah but that doesn't count i'll see it tomorrow saturday but by the time this comes out i would have seen it many weeks from now anyway how many times uh, uh yeah that's depends true. on how good it is <laughs> i mean if it's decent like five probably okay, but anyway going. so let's see this hawkman or uh, not hawkman i'm sorry um Okay. okay, yeah, yeah. So this is a movie adaptation, get you interested, hyped, whatever, yeah. for Hawkman. Now, here's an interesting little tidbit. When I was a young child, I would hear my father talk, and he'd say, you know, they could really do a good Hawkman film. I've always said that. He said that. I... And you had a Hawkman doll in your bathtub. Yes, I love Hawkman. Yeah. So, like, now he's in a film. And it's just... But it's Black know. Adam's film. Well, it is, but... He's, he's second rate in this well, movie. Well, for now. Doesn't mean he's not going to get his own film or <sighs> own feature thing. But regardless, he's in a film. That's a big deal. I'm sure your dad meant, didn't, mean, didn't mean he should be a second class character in someone else's movie. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe not. But regardless, he's in the film. I feel like I'm watching a tennis match because my head just like, <laughs> keeps going back and forth. Like I'm watching the ball get hit over the net. No. Anyway, uh, Hawkman's in the movie. And I've he's good. And that's about him. We're going to skip around a little bit. Um, this is these little facsimile like reprints of like early Superman issues, things like that. So this is Superman 1, which, fun fact, Dr. Burps. Yep. Superman 1 is like a reprinting of the first, uh, I want to say, four issues that came out of Superman in action comics. Mm -hmm. So basically they just took those, shoved them all in Superman 1, and that's how we get Superman 1. Oh, it's <laughs> thick. Yeah, it's a thick one. So yeah, it's just funny that they didn't write a new story. They just were like, yeah, let's put everything in this. So technically, I mean, it's a reprint, but it's a really expensive reprint. But yeah, Superman 1, mm. that's pretty legit. That's cool. That's interesting. Yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure that's right. I heard it somewhere. It's got to be true. Yeah. And then we're going to skip around again because I also got Tech 27, first Batman, Action Comics number one for Superman. Now, what I find most intriguing about these, you guys can look inside them if you would like, but the actual, oh. like, Batman Superman story is only, like, 
at I think at most like sixteen pages. Oh my so gosh, we have like the Rex <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> yes, yeah, the rest is like Western. Flanagan. Yeah, Western stuff. Pet Morgan. The mysterious Doctor Fu Manchu. So it's <laughs> kind of funny to me that it's only like a few pages, oh, and these geez. are worth millions of dollars. The Crimson I thought this Avenger. was going to be Dick Tracy, but it's scoops. Scoop scan. Spy. Buck Marshall. Yeah. So, anyway, I mean, it's kind of cool to have it, but, like, you're really only reading a few pages of Batman and Superman in these books. But, hey, still awesome. Still Mm. worth a lot of money if you had them, right? But, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, holy cow. Right. We're going to skip around in the spirit. Hopefully, this will still come out before Halloween's over, but nice house on the lake. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is issue, what, seven? Is that what it uh, said? Ten, I believe. Ten. Ten of twelve, yeah. right? Okay. I've heard very good things about this series. I started buying it, but for whatever reason, issue three was, like, impossible to find. Really? I don't know why. You have one through I have, like, ten? two all but three. Huh. And I'm like, let's just buy it off eBay. Like, that's dumb. Like, but yeah. like, you gotta yeah. complete the series. You got you. I have to know. Yeah. I have to complete the series that I'm probably not going to read, but I've heard it's good. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I'm like, how, like, what happened with issue three? What happened? Like, is this just like a Silver Surfer thing? Like, with, you know, the Thor cover where they're like, oh, yeah, it was low print run for whatever reason. So maybe it's going to be super valuable one day. But we got to find that in third. Yeah. Like, I have to, like, I have the full set. I have to have my twig set. It's gotta have the twig. Oh, it's got nice. a black Adam on the back. That's nice. Okay, and you know, this is probably Drake's favorite cover. Now that's Adam Smasher. Mm-hmm. And Adam Smasher! Yeah, I literally know nothing about this character. But um, I think it's different from the actual like Adam character, I believe, probably, maybe. It looks different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, I don't know. I've again, I haven't seen the movie yet, but he's kind of like the comic relief, so maybe that's why they have this little crotch shot of him on the cover. But they have lots of crotch shots in yeah. there, actually. Yeah, do you want me to, do you want me to get that to you to read? No, it's okay. Okay, these but look these cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, we need some of these. DC Illuminated Wall, high end logos, those are ask your local. Oh, you have to find you have to go through your comic shop. That looks cool though. Are these yeah, are these amazing. printed this year? Is this twenty? This was just, yeah. This yeah. was like a couple weeks oh, ago. Yeah. This one's about Doctor Fate, who's like a sorcerer type of thing. Oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, but this came out before. Doctor Fate. I think you have another Doctor Fate. I have the Silver Age Doctor Fate. The right. Golden Age, where he actually first came out, right. is like a gajillion dollars. Right. Mm. Same thing with Black Adam. That sucker's yeah. worth a lot now. Nah, wait till the movie comes out. Right. But well, the movie is out. Well, yeah. came out yesterday. Wait yeah. till after this movie comes out. It's already out. Oh uh, yeah, it's out. Anyway, so bottom line is it's worth a lot of money. And then this is just kind of like a little ongoing series. I have these little Batman comics that I purchased. These covers are kind of intense. I kind of like them. Yeah. I like, uh, oh, wait. I like yeah the one I'm holding. I believe. You like that one better? Well. Oh, oh man! I like He's the super face. Angry. I mean, I like Robin's. That's one. I thought that was a Dark Knight issue at first, yeah. uh. just because the pointy nose and everything. Yeah, but I've I've been having Batman like pull this for like a while now, and you know, it's it's in my stack of things to get to to read, you know. But so I picked these up because these were actually the ones I needed to come in to get. From my pool list before uh, they cancel it. Is this black label as well? Or no. No, it's just like the regular series. It's like a T teenage mm. type thing. Gotcha. But oh my gosh! What? Keep going. You can finish that. There's um, no, I was gonna say there's a lot of black label stuff out now, like yeah. um, like Aquaman, just all these yeah, different ones that are pretty interesting. Check out the bat, batarang. Oh wow, that's the Robert Pattinson one too. Yeah, we're going their local comic shop. I wonder if we can find it like on Preview Swirl. I'm or, sure. Yeah. How do we how do we get that? Preview Swirl. You gotta go off your pool list. Oh yeah. Well, that's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Superman's in the issue too. Yeah, it looks. Any green hair? Marshall Mania Hunter. Oh, it's like it's basically a Justice League comic with yeah. Batman. Nightwing's in it. Okay, so side note. Also, I'd like to know in the comments: Has anyone purchased or played the new Gotham Knights video game? I've heard mixed things about it. I'll probably still get it myself. But I was curious if anyone has played it, what their thoughts were. Please leave those comments down below. But, yeah, that's all that is in this haul. 
Um, I did purchase these books that are like a re like a hardcover printing of the Superman 78 Batman 89 series that they released nice. so I could have a copy of those. You can read them. Yeah, there's are more readable like cuz they're in book yeah. form. Not yeah, probably it's it. more yeah. likely yeah. that I would read them. Yeah. yeah. I have, so okay, like I don't want to admit this, but I'm going to cuz I feel like we're close now. So to what? Like he's talking me, to the viewers. Like the viewers. The viewers. Oh, we're close like relationship the viewers. Me and you guys. Like I feel like oh, we've grown a lot over these few guy. years. You uh Ben. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, There's almost five hundred of you out there though. Yeah. He's created five hundred different accounts, I think. Oh, I see. Um but uh something is killing the children comic. Yeah. 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 I purchased it in book form. Like I travel for work all the time. And I always like I'm like put in my book, but I'm like, yeah. You don't I'll read, read this comics though? No. Mm-hmm. I mean those have been out for yeah. a few years and yeah. they're popular. really expensive. Yeah. Like it's a pretty it's like a modern day like big key like I think a 9 is probably easily a grand I want to say wow. if not 800 800 a grand I'd say more than I thought yeah. Yeah. but yeah it's a pretty a, big deal it's like a twig yeah <laughs> it's also been I think auctioned is the word or whatever they're making a series of it essentially mm-hmm. too which has helped yeah. but anyway so I keep putting this in my book bag I get it out it just is there I just don't read it like it's guys it's on me like I should just like make an effort to read things but if it's like not sports movies or women like it's really hard for me to read you know and where is this going again I just was admitting yeah. like my faults he doesn't read oh. like I was opening my soul I see yeah now I can borrow it and read it yeah well why don't you just give it to us yeah and if you want to I guess yeah. I'll read it sure. now also like didn't you were kind of saying earlier that you had kind of a big like secret you want to tell the fans as well, like something you've been hiding or like wanting to admit. <laughs> uh, I think it, it was like something to do with, uh, <laughs> with um, uh, wasn't it like it was like a Star Wars type of thing? Oh, like wasn't it like you prefer I see, like the I Last see. Jedi over like Empire Strikes no, Back no, no, or something? I set this record straight. I think the the most recent um, series that Disney has put out. Uh, for sores and and or is my and or and or and or is my favorite uh, I guess anything sores that Disney's put out it's just great I love it it's better than I think um, all the movies of course but even Mandalorian I think so that's all I have okay I just have one question okay just one just really brief question is it okay no. That was his brief. Like, why should I care about this person? Because he started the rebellion. No spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. He started. Well, the that's re- from the movie, though, right? Like yeah, he was in the. Is. He was like, you know. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you one thing that I really like. I about also this. like the movie was okay, but I don't. I don't. Okay, really think I'll tell you one reason why I really like this. You see, Mon Mothma become. A leader of the rebellion. Mm-hmm. We we we've had a few. Ep- I mean, I think we've had seven episodes, or maybe less than that. And she's not even there yet. Like she isn't. So you see the evolution of her character mm-hmm. from going from like politician that you know to a rebel leader, and even that alone is super cool to see. Um, who Mon Moth? Oh. Okay, folks. So, you've seen some newer age stuff that's a little different for the channel. Typically, we have some older things, but like Kirk, Captain Kirk alluded to in the last episode that we know you watched, he has a box sitting on his porch at home. Allegedly. Of lots of graded comics from CGC. Allegedly. So, our next bit of content is going to be all back to normal where we start pulling out bangers. No more 6-0s, no more 8-0s, no purple labels, no green labels. It's just going to be key comics coming your way. And we'll be submitting a very nice Hulk 181, very nice Fantastic 452. Um, And we'll be getting some books back from CBCS. That Hulk 181... I think it could be an eight at least. We're getting which eight. is a banger. That'd be huge. ASM three hundred coming back. Um, yeah, we got a bunch. So with Ooh. all of this, tell your friends we're almost at five hundred subscribers. Um, so it'd be cool to hit that five hundred mark when we get all these amazing key comics back in. If you know anyone with like a large family, 
like someone that maybe has like a wife and six children maybe have them like create their own account and like each subscribe like we can get there really quick maybe they, like, have, they have nothing nice. to do yeah. i mean maybe they just sit around so looking for subpar content like, this is it. subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, create second accounts, subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time.